Unless you want to go for it. No, go for it. Can I get it? Okay. Okay. Thank you. On November 3rd, voters will have a clear choice to make. We will need to ask ourselves which candidate will never lose sight of issues that matter to families. I am that candidate. I have the focus, the determination, and the energy to be your advocate. As a former public school teacher, we measure success. So for the issues that matter most to you, I'll ask you to grade my opponent. He's been there for four years, and what has happened? We have a failing economy, and he wants to raise our taxes. Not just income taxes, but sales taxes and gas taxes that punish working families. Our schools need reform, but he has failed to act. We have failing roads, and he can't take a stand to fix them, but he takes campaign cash from big developers like Floor and Transurban. You deserve a delegate with clear and focused priorities. You deserve change and change that we can afford. Vote Vicki Vasquez for Virginia on November 3rd. Thank you. I guess that was the spirited part of the discussion. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks. thank you to the Civic Association for giving us this chance to talk about just a couple of issues. And uh, thank you to my Republican opponent for being here. Um, look, Governing is about choices. And when the choice is between good and bad, frankly, it's easy. The real challenge is when you have to choose between good and good. That's when the core values of the people representing you really matter. We are going into a General Assembly year with a budget where we're going to have to make some of the toughest choices many of us will end up making in our lifetimes. We, after having cut $6 billion already from the state budget, a state budget that, by the way, is pretty darn efficient, which is why we keep getting ranked best managed state in the country, we're going to have to find another billion and a half to cut because of the failing economy which, you know, my opponent can try and blame me for that. I think most people blame eight years of George Bush's failed leadership. <laughs> but, but, the, but the bottom line is that through my service, I hope that I, through my record of principled, effective, progressive leadership, I hope that I have earned your trust in the choices I will make as we enter this difficult budget year. I'm David England. I ask for your vote for re-election on November 3rd. Thank you very much.